We're not going for the day. Oh. <laughs> Nanako's watching TV today, as usual. If you want, you can change the channel. Nanako looks bored. I might as well try a magic trick. Nanako is watching curiously. You decide to show her a magic trick. You put the rubber band on your index and middle finger. You also hook it on the ring finger and pinky without Nanako noticing. What are you doing? When you open up the hand you had closed tightly, and the rubber band springs off the index and middle finger, instantly moving over to the ring finger and pinky. Nanako saw part of the trick. He seems delighted anyway. Okay, my turn now. Nanako is laughing cheerfully. The night continues. Night gives way to the thoughtless day. Yo! Yo, partner. Hey, wait till you hear this. I finally got a motorcycle. My very own, just like I've been dreaming about. I've been on Cloud Nine all morning. So why don't we take our motorcycles for a spin out to Okina after school? You know. You once promised you would. The up close and personal plan, eh? Hey, you remember. That's my partner. It's time to put our let's use motorcycles to hit on city girls plan to action. You want to make sure I have a girlfriend to spend the summer with this year, don't you? Let's head there as soon as class is let out. Lucky me, I was actually intending on doing that. School camp will be taking place this weekend. Remember, this isn't like ordinary camping. It's going to be a place of education to wind up lazy-ass minds you get from screwing around all the time. I'll show you what morals are all about. And I'll send you home anyone who brings down the morale. You remember that. What? You don't know the difference between morals and morale? Morals are about virtue. Morale is... Tell me, Hanamura, you seem to be lacking in morals. Damn it, King Moron. I thought I knew, but I'm... Now I'm doubting myself. Hey, Ark, tell me what morale is. I think it's the... I think it'd be the desire to grow. Carefulness in a group. Give him the answer you think is correct. Oh, that was unexpected. Did you tell him the answer, Nova? Anyway, yes. Morale refers to the enthusiasm of a group or individual within the group. You remember when those women were killed? It's shit like that that brings down people's morale and their morals. And maybe that'll all happen to you if you keep living lives of low morals and low morale. What a low thing to say. Thanks, Ark. I don't want to think what he'd say if I'd missed, if I'd missed that. Yosuke appreciates you. I need more expression. Oh, we're just zooming. Hey, girl, what's hit on her? Hello, Kina Station. That was easier than I thought. He actually followed us all the way here. Damn, he's good. <laughs> that was a breeze. I sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. If I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. <laughs> you know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? Go do you, Kanji. Since I came all the way to Okina, there, there's this craft shop. It, it, it's nothing. I'm just, just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit. So you guys get started without me. Can do. Then why did he come with us? Our plan's more important. You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. <laughs> He decided to wait here for a while. The early summer sunlight feels nice. Disagree. Three hours passed. The early summer sunlight beats down. Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No luck, huh? No luck. This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. That seems unlikely. Uh, 
Hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Dude, the sun's gonna set. Maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. Is it my fault? Nah, you're fine. Your motorcycle looks cool, and you don't look so bad yourself. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. Is there? I can't afford an expensive one. The scooter's the best I can do. Senpai, can you give me ten minutes? I can't keep quiet if you're getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys. This isn't a fight, you know. What are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah! How else would I fix this? Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better, right? Right. Three minutes is all I need. What are you saying? Even instant ramen takes five minutes to make. Now that's my senpai. Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. <laughs> Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. You chicken? That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend. And then make them say yes. Yeah. Get to it. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. Oh, don't say that, Yosuke. That's the spirit, Senpai. There is so much to lose. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko Senpai had. Only girls count for this, all right? You're still stuck on that? Yeah. Damn it. Hell if I'm gonna lose this. In a strange turn of events, the three of you are having a pickup contest. Phew, there's a neatly dressed girl here. Will you talk to her? Oh, I'm sorry, can I help you with something? Wanna talk? Um, uh, I'm uh, not used to this. The woman looks embarrassed. Sorry, I'm really nervous. Um, I can't really explain it. Calm down. Sure, yes, it's at times like these that one must be at one's calmest. I must regain balance in my heart or evil will rush in. Mm -hmm. The woman started to breathe deeply. Phew, I'm alright now. My soul has been saved through God's intervention. Are you aware of this? At this very moment, our world is filled with demons and despair. That despair will invade people's souls. Eventually, the world will become hard and cruel. Illness, accidents, bad luck, all evil in this world stems from despair. I'm sure that your soul's cries for hope are what brought you to me. The woman seems serious. However, you must not fear. There is still a path to salvation. If you pray to our God, your soul will be purified and you will be able to lead a life happy and fulfilled. The woman's pure eyes gleam at you. The time is now. Find your happy place and gain inner joy. Ask for her number. Ask for her cell phone number. A cell phone? Ugh. Those are the product of human greed. They emit poisonous waves that will brainwash you. If you don't get rid of yours this instant, it will bring you nothing but suffering. Listen to me. Human behavior is... You lose. The woman lectured you for a while. You didn't get her cell phone number. A little time passed. Well, so your dad runs a Juness? I see the commercials all the time. Yep, we always thank our customers. Every day is great at your Juness. I'll show you around the Unibus store. If I can get your number, that is. So, yeah, it would be really great if I could get that number. What? But I never go to Unibus. I'll give you a coupon for meat. 20% off. Good only on Wednesdays. Ugh, whatever. No thanks. Then, just the last eight digits of your number. That's good enough for me. Yosuke is easily having a hard time. That guy trying to pick me up was such a loser. That nose piercing of his made him look like a cow. <laughs> that sounds awful. What did he think he was? Enoba Beef? A couple of flashy high school girls are here. Will you talk to them? Sure. What the hell? Who are you? Are you hitting on us? Well, he is kind of cute. We're not doing anything right now, so maybe we could hang out. I haven't seen you around. Where do you live? Enoba. Haha, <laughs> Enoba, he says. What a redneck. That's too funny. I heard Enoba is so dead, the farm animals have taken over. Four legs good, two legs bad. <laughs> That's like that book. Let me hear you squeal, country boy. Yeah, squeal like a pig. Suey! Whatever you eat about people do to keep your pig overlords happy. Come on, show us. <laughs> You're too good at this. I might fall in love. The high school girls are having a lot of fun. You spoke to the girls for a while. Hey, give me your cell number. I'll call you when I'm bored. 
if I can get yours too. What? Why do we have to give you ours? Like I said, we'll call you. Don't be so desperate. Jeez. Come on, give me your number. I'll call you when we're bored. and You'll be there in five minutes to entertain us. Simple, huh? If you're late, I'll post your number to an online dating site. I feel the situation is turning ugly. It seems wise to run away. Yeah. There's somebody who will extricate yourself from the girls. You didn't get their phone numbers. A little time passed. Damn. There's a gorgeous woman there. Will you talk to her? Yeah. Hmm? What does a cute boy like you want with me? I tell her for a second. <laughs> You're so funny. I like boys like you. I kind of like younger boys. You're innocent and adorable. It makes me want to educate them about some things. Hmm. How do you feel about older women? I love them. Oh, really? Then we might be a good match. <laughs> hey, do you really want to hang out? Not today. I mean, and not if you don't want to. But if you want, I can teach you a lot about how grown-ups play. Things are going well. One more push, you may be able to get her number. <laughs> well, do you want to play with me? Yes, please. <laughs> You're adorable. I'm starting to like you. But I have something to do right now, so this isn't the best day. Maybe next time. This is your chance to ask for her phone number. We try to get her digits. All right, here you go. Just for you. Call me, won't you? You got the lady's cell phone number. I'll be waiting. Hell yeah! Let's go. You took more time than expected. You need to meet up with your friends. How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. I thought so. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? A girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know. What was she talking about? <laughs> How dense are you? There's no way that counts. What about you? Did you get anything? Of course. Way to go, partner. Was it herself? What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please, pretty please, please. How many times are you going to beg? Enough. So you're going to call her, right? Right? <laughs> you decided to try and call the number you got. She picked up. Senpai's the man. Uh, hello? Oh, shit. You're an unfamiliar man's voice on the other end of the line. Let me talk to the girl. Oh, I get it. It's you, huh? You rat bastard. You're dead, shitbird. How dare you hit on my girl? I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck. You better not call again. Got it? Oh, damn. I can hear him from here. Is that dude for real? Well, <laughs> that's the risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai? <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy, too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. Damn. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. Yosuke-kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. <laughs> we go to the same school. We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Oh, God. I'm in such deep shit. D did I call the wrong number? One more try. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? Run, Yosuke. What the hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. Ugh. I could feel a chill go down my spine. Run, Yosuke-kun. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Oh, no. Oh, no! Hanako-san! Why are you here? The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date, huh? Run, Yosuke! Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. Wait! Oh, damn! <laughs> My motorcycle! Oh, what's with this scooter? It's broken.
Jason. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. Rough. She just annihilated that thing. Am I cursed? A little bit. Is something gypsy or something? It's a curse. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Senpai, you fought well. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. Sure, sure. <laughs> Whoa! Up close and personal! I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. So you don't get anything! And you're freaking me out! And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay. Just put an end to this suffering already. He told Yosuke off to the station and decided to go home with Kanji. You should be able to come to Okina on your own now if you have enough experience with your scooter. Sometimes things are rough. Welcome home. Welcome home. I got a good amount of money, but why do people die? Is Anko talking about her mother who died in an accident? She looks straight at you. You wouldn't be able to explain it to Nanako. You should wait until you reach persuasion before attempting to answer her question. Dang it! I need more expression to help Miss Little Nanako. Okay. But anyway. I still have Gur, right? Yeah. Oh. Hey. It's you. Great. A student who parties at night. I'm so exhausted from work, I had to talk to that old lady again. I'm hungry. I just seem to have eaten dinner yet. Sure. If I you over for dinner. Huh? What? Uh, oh, I guess we talked about that the other day. Um, yeah, why not? I hear you're quite the cook. You headed to the Dojima residence with the Dachi. <laughs> Dojima residence living room. You brought a Dachi here for dinner. Big bro. The potatoes are still hard. Today we're having shoe. Shoo. Oh, you mean stew? Yeah, shoo. Stew. Hey, you did it. Do you like stew, Adachi-san? Hmm, yeah, kind of. Kind of? Uh, I mean, yeah, I do like it. It's been a while since I had some. So, do you cook like this all the time? I bet Dojima-san tells you all the time what a great help you are. Yeah, he does. Really? Really? He doesn't seem like the type to come out and say it. Adachi shrugs. So I heard you were moving back in the spring. I bet Dojima-san is going to cry. Nanako is looking down sadly. Uh, sorry, sorry. That's still a long way away. Yeah. Um, um hey, Nanako, have you ever seen this trick? Adachi produced a 500 yen coin. Now watch closely. Adachi clutches the 500 yen coin. You watching? The 500 yen coin disappeared. <laughs> what? How? Why? Again? Do it again! Nah, this time I'll show you an even better one. Look in your big bro's pocket. The 500 yen coin was in your pocket. Wow, you're the best, Adachi-san. That was a surprise. I'm pretty good with my hands, so it comes easy to me. Adachi seems relieved that Nanako is smiling again. Maybe I should have been a magician. Then I wouldn't be in such a... Oh, well. I guess there's no job like a government job. It's not like I can make a living working with my hands. Adachi shrugs. You feel like you know Adachi a bit more. Hooray! More powerful gestures. It's Stu! Piazzu? Do! Wrong. No, I said it right. So you spend a fun evening together. Oh. 
Good morning, Arcoon. School camp starts tomorrow. We'll be in the same group, but what should we be cooking for dinner? Hey, why don't we go get everyone and go buy some ingredients after school? We should do that. Okay, I'll be sure to let GA and Yosuke Kun know then. Juness Grocery Department. You came with the others to buy ingredients for the cookout tomorrow. What do you put in curry again? Carrots, potatoes, onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? No. They're apparently going to make curry. Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry. But I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Mm hmm. Hmm. I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. I'm real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Of course you do. Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. Oh, we're going to die. There's different kinds of flour. Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? Hmm. Whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. And here they are. We're going to die. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh, yeah, we're going to die. I can't do spicy. Just get everything that seems right. Oh no. How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. This curry is going to be a monster. There's two kinds though, black and white. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko. The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Let's not. Please. Oh yeah. We'll need some special ingredients too to spice things up. something on TV about that. I think it was, um, chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt. <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. Oh, God. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste Oh, God. Stop them. Stop them. We are going to die. You're back. Oh, you're home. <sighs> ah. 